Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Flat World Challenge. My goal is to collect 80 gold ingots. And I do that by going from random NPC village to NPC village blacksmith, looting their chests. Occasionally they have gold, sometimes, very rarely, they have diamonds. And that's pretty much the only way to collect resources, other than going into the nether. And in the nether I collect gold nuggets from zombie pigmen. And of course this is the flat world map type. That is currently the only other map generation options we have. And to make this challenge deadly or lethal, I am in the hardcore mode. Hence the hardcore mode super flat world challenge. Which is a mouth world uh, which is a mouthful to say, obviously. Uh, hold on a moment. Okay, just a slight distraction there, and it doesn't appear to be any blacksmith in this village as well, which is unfortunate. I had a hot streak going in the previous video, and now the problem is, is I don't know which direction I, I came from. I hate how these zombies break down doors so much. Incredibly annoying. Uh, I know that I was going north. Which is this direction, so we'll just continue in that direction from here. Although, I want a sword here. I'll also toss this junk behind. None of this is useful to me. Alright, <laughs> and there's another... Is that the NPC village that I came from before? I do wonder that. It could be. Well, I am thoroughly confused now, although I don't think this is the one I came from before. Honestly, I have no idea. So, we'll just keep on going in the, this direction. Oh, yeah, there's my breadcrumbs. So somehow I was going east. Okay, I thought I was going north. It's good to know. Well, I'm going to continue on this direction, off-camera, until I find a, another NPC village. And you'll see me then. And here is the second village so far in this video that I found. And I have been thinking that it's not going to be too much crate, too much longer, really. I mean, it'll be a little bit of time to pass. But here in a relatively short while, I will have collected the 80 gold ingots, or die, that's certainly an option, but if I don't die, and I collect the 80 gold ingots and build the Menger Sponge out of gold blocks, I was wondering whether or not you guys think I should start another challenge, and whether or not I should use this world I've already made, and create some sort of new challenge, and I don't know what challenge that would be, since in essence, I can't think of anything particularly more difficult other than, uh, that's, uh, there's a threesome going on there, more difficult than other than doing the same challenge with uh, diamonds, and that would be fairly time consuming. Since the only way would be to uh, just go from blacksmith in each village to blacksmith. I couldn't even uh, do any rare drops from killing zombie pigmen in the nether. I'm just grabbing some cobblestone here, as you can see, to replenish. And uh, I, I suppose 
the next challenge could be you guys suggest for me something for me to build out of a material that's obviously obtainable in the hard the uh the flat world map generation type whoa it's a tiny tiny blacksmith and a tiny light and a tiny priest there's a couple tiny priests they are just going wild here it's the summer of love here in this village it's interesting um yeah so what do you guys think the future should be for the uh, hardcore flat world challenge should i complete this challenge with my life intact but uh i'm gonna go find another village as i do here is yet again another village and i see two blacksmiths which is fortunate I'm using up quite a lot of uh, hunger just sort of jumping and sprinting but it's a lot quicker and I feel experienced enough that I can afford that expense to speed up my uh, success in completing this challenge. I don't know how challenging it would be building a structure in a uh, flat world. I mean, obviously, the the greatest challenge presented when building something is the slimes harassing you. But they're not particularly dangerous if you're cautious and move every couple of minutes. But, uh, yeah, I'm just... I'm not sure what I would build, uh... So I guess I would rely on you guys to give me some sort of new challenge to challenge me. And uh, we're going to find another village again. That was pretty quick, I think. Did I check both? Yeah, I checked both. Unless I didn't, then I'm an idiot. You guys will promptly tell me so. Once again, the night has peaked. Or perhaps not peaked, but as the moon has risen. Rose, I forget which word is the good word for that sentence. So I reveal just how illiterate I am. But here's the village. I see a blacksmith. Possibly two? No, I think it's just one. And hopefully the zombie isn't paying attention to me. I'm gonna call it quits for now just after we're through with this village here. Plenty of iron, but not really an optimal number of gold. I could make... Yeah, I could make an enchanting chest if I wanted to, although I don't have enough experience to make anything worthwhile. Just be a little more thorough and search this village out more. And now that Pretty much looks like that's everything. So I'm just going to... Ow! Jerk! God, I hate that so much. That pounding. You know what? Screw this. I'm not going to take shelter in this village. I'm going to build a pillar somewhere over here. Those zombies are so annoying when they do that. Probably should have done this out of dirt, but I don't have any dirt, so oh well. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you stay tuned for the more that I produce in the near future. And see you then. Goodbye.